cruise day in Puerto Vallarta. And the local merchants are out trying to drum up as much business as they can. It's unclear, though, how long the cruises are going to be stopping on this stretch of coast. With 40,000 people killed in drug violence since 2006, tour companies are getting skittish. 300 kilometers from here in Mazatlan, nearly all the cruises have already pulled out. Now the drug war's effect is being felt in Puerto Vallarta. Princess, a major cruise line, has canceled stops here through the end of the year, basing their decision on a U.S. State Department warning advising Americans to avoid the general area around Vallarta. Ships like this one are still making port here in Puerto Vallarta, and the companies say it's key for them to make people feel safe. And the people we talked to here actually said they do feel safe. I feel like if it's a danger to be here, they wouldn't have stopped here the same as they didn't stop in Mazatlan. I'm not going to listen to the crews or to the news. I'll make my own decisions on, based on what I've read. Still, people who rely on tourism say they're worried about Puerto Vallarta being tainted by Mexico's violence. Believe of people. So if we don't have clients, we, we don't have anything. Tourism officials were shocked by Princess's decision and point to the fact that some U.S. cities have a higher murder rate than Mexico as a whole. In the last five years, we have 10 people that die in Puerto Vallarta for, because they were driving drunk, because they get overdoses, because they jump from the balconies. But violence, we have maybe one or two cases in five years. Puerto Vallarta is home to many Canadian and U.S. retirees who say they get more bang for their buck south of the border. And it also attracts Mexicans from tougher areas, like Salvador Delgado. He left Mexico's most violent city, Juarez, to escape the bloodshed and find work. Just last week, he heard a friend of his was killed back home. In Juarez, you don't go out. There's not even bars anymore. I mean, people, it's not safe to live in Juarez. Vallarta is. Despite the good times in Vallarta, the number of international visitors to Mexico dropped 13% last year to about 80 million. That's down from 91 million in 2008. In recent months, President Felipe Calderón has appeared at travel conventions in the U.S. to tell operators Mexico is safe. But regardless of such upbeat assurances, the bloody drug war is making the country's beautiful beaches a harder sell than usual. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico.